Thank you for checking out this video. Coming up in this video, we got some of this. But let us start at the beginning. I've been on the hunt now, looking for the best action camera mount for my motorcycle and push bike. Well, that's when Small Rig reached out to me and said that they've got the perfect solution. Why don't you test out this one? So that's exactly what I did. This is the Small Rig handlebar mounting clamp for action cameras. So let's go test it out and see how it performs. Mounting the clamp is super simple. You just slide it over your handlebars and then tighten up the clamp bolt. Once you've mounted it to your handlebars, you can then readjust the position of the arm on the mount by loosening off the middle bolt and then retightening. Let's go test it out in the real world on my motorcycle. Now, because my motorcycle is a touring motorcycle, I have a high windscreen to deflect the wind off myself. So I'll be mounting the camera in a selfie mode to begin with, and then we'll get a little bit creative and try to find different mounting points on my motorcycle for different angles. Now I've gone through loads of handbar mounting options for action cameras, and I find they come in two varieties. Ones like these are extremely strong, but offer no adjustment, or you can get ones that offer adjustment but they usually snap and break very easily. Now the small rig mount is 100% made from metal, which makes it extremely strong. It's built like a tank, but still offers that adjustment that is necessary for filming. And this got me thinking, where else can I mount the clamp to and get a little bit creative with my video shots? So I mounted it onto my wing mirror, and oh boy, the shots look great. It almost looks like a drone is being flown down the road. And even with it mounted to the wing mirror of the motorcycle, it didn't flex, bounce or move at all. Its only downside was I wasn't riding through the Alps or through America's national parks. Let's see if there's any other options to mounting it to my motorcycle. One of the benefits to using this clamp over many others is that you can adjust it even with thick motorcycle gloves on. And because the clamp can be adjusted from 22mm to 32mm by sliding on the bottom hinge, it means we get loads of mounting options. Yep, it can even be mounted to the rear pillion footrest on my motorcycle. And the pillion's handles also. But my favourite was the wing mirror. I love the perspective of not seeing the motorbike in the shot, plus I can start and stop the recording whenever I like. But that's enough testing it on a motorcycle, let's pull it onto a push bike and see how we get on. And because we got that adjustability from 22mm to 32mm, Swapping it from one handlebar setup to another is so easy and simple. And just like the motorbike, there was no flexing or movement from the clamp at all. And the reason for this is the small rig design, which is absolutely superb. For example, if we take a look at the ball joint on the arm, you can see that small rig have machined it in such a way that when the clamp is tightened, the texture on the ball joint is going to stop any type of movement. Let's have a look at where else we can mount it on our push bike. And the first place I thought of was on my suspension forks, and this gives a really cool perspective. But let's see how quickly we can undo the clamp and remount it into a different position. Let's speed this up a little bit. There we go, we've completed it in a time of 46 seconds to move it from one side of the fork onto the other. So we've learned that this clamp and mount system for your action camera is excellent for motorcycles and push bikes. But there's one final test that I have to do with it, and that is extreme off-roading. Let's go test it out. So the plan is to go up these hills here 
uh, come back down on my electric bike. Now I must say for the record that I'm not a mountain biker or anything like that. Now this track is quite bumpy. Uh, hopefully the stabilization takes out some of them bumps, but we're gonna see whether the clamp uh, moves. We're gonna make sure it's nice and tight and then we'll see whether this moves on the way back down. But let's go up to the top and see how we get on. Uh, I'm using a commuter bike, an electric commuter bike that folds in half. And it's not designed for this, but let's give it a go. Oh my god, James, come off Oh, I thought I was coming off that. Oh my god. Oh, holy moly. Well, the clamp didn't move, but the uh, the top, maybe I didn't tighten it up enough. Oh, I didn't. Holy crap. Oh, this, do, do not ride down hills on these bikes. I'm gonna go home and change me underpants. As you saw from the clip there, the action camera was facing down at the end. This wasn't because of the handlebar mount, it was actually my mistake for not checking the tightness of the DJI Action Force magnetic mounting clip onto the clamp itself. Now if you do use the DJI magnetic mounting system for your action cameras, what you can do is have multiple clamp mounts in different positions, then you can move your DJI action camera from one clamp mount to another very quickly and easily. So does a small rig handlebar clamp mount get my recommendation? 100% yes. If you're in the market for a handlebar clamp mount, this is the one to get. It's built like a tank and won't let you down. And with the option from going from 22 millimeters to 32 millimeters, your options for mounting it are pretty much unlimited. Links to this exact handlebar clamp will be in the description and in the pinned comments below. Well, that's going to wrap up this video. If you've got anything at all from it, please give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see further videos from myself, hit that subscribe button. But for now, that's it. We'll catch up in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.